What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel Altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Today I'm doing my BoxyCharm Premium Unboxing. Just a premium. We'll get into why it's just a premium at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, that's what this video is. I talk about all the products I used. How I felt about them, what's in my box, what I liked, what I didn't like, values, all that jazz. I also want to make a short announcement. I'll probably make a whole video on this, a very short video soon. But I am starting a little mystery box. Um, I'll link my Instagram down below. I have highlights on my mystery boxes. They're called Jelly's Treasure Boxes. A $45 box of brand new, never used, never opened makeup, lots of high-end luxury brands in there. Yeah, there's a lot of good makeup in there that's hard for me to not just open and play with. But yeah, I am selling mystery boxes, so if you're interested in that you want to keep up with my mystery boxes, then definitely go to my Instagram down below. There's a lot more information coming soon, brand reveals, all of that. So please be sure to look out for that and follow me on Instagram. But without further ado, if you're interested in what's in my boxy charm, what I liked, what I didn't like, and why there's no base box this month, then you know the deal, you know the drill, you know the vibes. Let's get it. Let's get into the first product. Um, that I'm using on my face. Uh, here it is. Here it is. This is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This vitamin C powered illuminating makeup primer delivers instant radiance while improving and extending makeup wear. Inspired by the makeup artist must have banana powder. This, sub this subtly Subtly, Sunny Makeup Primer contains brightening pigments to bring radiance to the entire complexion. Retails for $38. So, here we have it, folks. This was my choice product for the month of August. So, let's put this on, this face primer. I take two pumps like that. And it does not. Yeah, I'm like. Does it smell like banana? It does smell like banana. It smells more citrusy than like banana y. It feels moisturizing. That feels nice. And that's it. Gives me a nice subtle radiance to the skin. It feels good. It feels moisturizing. Like I want to put it on my hands. And that's really it. So I like this primer. This is definitely something I will use again and again. I like it. Okay, so now I'm going to now I'm going to put on foundation and I'll be back as I put on concealer to try out this brush right here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went in with the Physicians Formula the Healthy Foundation in MN4. The foundation smells so weird. Now I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Creamy Concealer in Medium 90W. So let's put the ice on. That's crooked. That's nice, that's nice. Put that on. 
Okay, now for the next product. Oh, here's the paper. I'm like, hello. Next we have the Fenty Beauty Portable Contour and Concealer Brush 150, a magnetic retractable contour and concealer brush that attaches to your favorite matchstick matte skin stick for seamless sculpting and blending in a snap. Oh, okay. Okay, this is supposed to be used with their matchsticks, which I might actually try out. I only have one left. This is what the brush looks like. And then you pull down this cap right here. Sorry, my nails are not done right now. Apologies. It goes like this. For a matchstick. You see, if I read that, I would have used it with my matchstick as a contour. To make sense okay so I'll use that after I blend out my concealer so let's blend out this concealer I guess I could see why it would be used for the matchstick because it is a denser brush and the matchsticks are very dry so you need something a lot more dense to actually pick up the product so this brush blends out everything very fast. And as a brush does, it spreads out the product a lot, which I don't mind. And it just mattify product a little bit. I find myself patting more than like sweeping. I sweep to like disperse the product other than that I'm patting I mean that did the job I just feel like I need a little bit more concealer I don't know how much I like it under my eyes just because of the way it feels under my eyes but it does blend out very quickly it doesn't mattify product because that's a very creamy concealer. It usually leaves me extremely dewy. But I'm not finding that to be the case right now. I feel like I don't need to set that concealer. It's a lot matter than usual. I mean, that's a good brush. It did what it needed to do. I am concealed. I am blended. Careful, careful. So for contour, I wasn't going to contour, but since they mentioned matchsticks, going in with my Fenty Beauty matchstick in Mocha. And I'm just going to brush it on like this. Let's see. There is product on there. So let's see. Yeah. It is a very dense brush. So I find myself wanting to buff more than sweep. Or like stipple it. You know what I mean? And with this I would probably tap over with my sponge it definitely contoured me I totally see why this brush is intended for the matchsticks because the matchsticks are pretty dry and you need a more dense brush to actually pick up the product unless you warm it up on the back of your hand and do all that. I'm trying to just stamp onto my nose a little bit. Nothing too intense. No extra product. I'm happy with that. But then I wonder, do I have to always clean my brush if I want to use it for concealer and contour? 
because right now I wouldn't use that brush again immediately to help blend out my under eyes before I powder. You know what I mean? But I really like that brush, especially to use with this matchstick because you do have to like finick around. Is that, is that? It's finicky. It's a finicky product. So yeah, so now I have a brush that I could definitely use with it to make it just easier. I put it on the product and I go in on the face and blend it out. I really, really enjoyed that just now. And it's pretty to just display on my desk. Okay, next product. Because we're going straight in with the next one and I'm really excited to have this. I don't know why, like why am I excited for a setting powder? This is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This setting powder provides a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so for a finish so natural they'll think you were born this way. The formula is infused with hyaluronic acid, which gives a smoother, more youthful appearance. That's really cool. This is $33. The brush, I don't know if I said $24. Here's the back of the product, one of the product, it looks very vintage and it has a lid which I like so it doesn't get too messy in here and there's a heart, if you can see the heart, is it just ready to go? It is. So I took some, it's a pretty yellow tone, like the Laura Mercier, which I just got. And then I ended up getting this. Um, can we see that? Yeah, it's a little yellow tint, which would be good for me, you know. So since I got the contour on the brush, I'm actually going to go in with pink dots all over this. I'm going to go in with my sponge and just blend everything out. So going in with some of that powder. Right off the bat, it feels a little bit dry. Like, I don't know, I could tell when the powder feels dry on my skin, especially my under eyes. Um, I don't know, I, just, I could just feel it, like I know. I know when it's happening. Set the rest of my face. I don't see a luminosity here. Do you? No, it feels pretty matte. I don't see any like luminosity, to be honest. I don't mind being matte. I just don't like being told it's luminous and then it wasn't luminous. You know what I mean? trying to look in here there's no luminosity and I, I have lights on I don't have very strong lights on right now but nevertheless you know I think it's just matte can you get up close it's pretty much just matte but it did set me very well it's smooth it's not clinging to any dryness. I'm liking how I look. Yeah, I mean, that's a good setting powder. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I like that. It's just like, I don't have room for setting powders anymore. So what else do I have in here? So I won't be back until until the eye, so see you then. Okay, so I just put on my base products and eyebrows. So now we could go into eyeshadow, all oh, the box for the powder. Um, here's the Ciate London New England Editor Palette, inspired by New England in fall. This palette features super soft and blendable shadows in a mix of richly pigmented 
autumnal hues, mix and match the metallic glitters and mattes for effortlessly. Hazy eye looks retails for thirty two dollars. I was a little weary of this palette because I didn't think it would be something I would be very interested in. Here is the packaging. It is very pretty packaging. And there are not very many mattes, but the shimmers are very pretty. So if we swatch a few shimmers, this green I really like. Is it, oh no, that wasn't the right. Oh, the old, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Let me see if I. Horrible pinky swatch, but there's a bronze. I think I'm going to use that color. That green. They're like decent swatches. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a very, very simple eye look. Nothing too crazy because my shirt is kind of crazy. So yeah, let me just breeze through these and show you what I'm doing. I actually need to make sure I have enough brushes to do this look. Let's get started. don't know who put a voodoo on me today I got mascara everywhere <laughs> here's the eyes I will clean it don't worry I just want to give it time to dry so right now I'm just going in with lips is a wet and wild lip liner the perfect pout liner and lay down the mauves quickly going to line my lips with this yeah. oh I already put on eyeliner. Um, I actually didn't use this on purpose. This is the Milk Longwear Gel Liner. And bonus, this retails for $22. It is a brown glittery shade. I didn't swatch it or anything. But I just don't, if I were, were to use this today, it would be the only time I'd probably use it. So I just figured to not open it. But I am going in with my first ever MAC lipstick. This is the... MAC Satin Lipstick, a creamy lipstick formula with a soft, cushiony feel, medium to full, buildable coverage, and a satin finish. We chose for $19. And it's in the shade Mocha. This is my first MAC lipstick. I was I was just really, I was really happy to have this because it like I said, my first MAC lipstick. Does it match? Yeah, decent match. Oy. It's a little bit warmer than my lip liner. Trying to really blend that into my lip liner. There it is. And let me try to get these mascara marks off. Okay, so. So that's the end of this look, I guess, right? I mean, what else is there to do? Um, so yeah, that is the end of this look. The total... I Let's get the total value of this box for 168 is the value of the box and I paid what $35 for this this is just the premium box oh yeah um 
I'll I'll explain why I canceled the base box a little bit later. I liked every product I tried on. I'm happy to have this MAC lipstick. Let me see. The color is really pretty. It's not like something I'd wear every day. I don't wear lipstick every day. I'm more of a gloss kind of girl. But for me to have a MAC lipstick, this is a good color to have. Um, the primer, it's a raved about primer with skincare benefits. That's amazing. If I wanted to do something a little bit more pore filling, I have pore filling primers I can use in partnership with this. So I'm really happy to have that. The brush works really well for the matchstick, which I'm really excited to keep using more now that I have this product and it won't be as tricky to use the matchstick. So I'm really happy to have this brush, right? And then, right? And then this setting powder, it wasn't lo like luminous as it said it would be. I look shiny now because I have like three different highlighters on and a glowing setting spray. Um, but I'm not mad that it's not super dewy. It did smooth out the skin. I really like it. It's a setting powder. I'm going to use it up, you know what I mean? The only thing was this eyeliner just because it's a color I wouldn't use. I don't want something glittery in my waterline. My eyes are pretty sensitive so this this was the only flop in the whole box so the oh and the the palette the palette the mattes very smooth and a lot more pigmented than I expected and the shimmer was pretty this is the shimmer dry with the brush that's fantastic for a shimmer um, and they do have some pretty unique shades that I would like to try out some more. So overall, I mean, this was a good boxy charm. I'm really happy with that. Um, I did cancel my base box for this month. Like I said in last month, I canceled the base also, but I saw sneak peeks for products that I would really like to have which I didn't get, but that's fine, whatever. Um, I canceled this month as well, and as sneak peeks came out, there's nothing that surprised me, wowed me, uh, and I saw a full list of products that were available in the base box, and nothing at all stood out to me as something I would want to get in my box. So I didn't get it, and this subscription is canceled still for now until I see some products for next month that I might be interested in. I know I think the choice products, I know I think, I think the choice products for next month were Marc Jacobs products like the Dew Drops and two different shades and a moisturizer. I already have a Dew Drop even though that's a really great product to get. It's already like double the price of the base box. But like I said, I already have dew drops, so, and I have moisturizers, so that wasn't something that really stuck out to me. I'll keep a lookout for more sneak peeks to see if there is anything that would make me want to buy the base box. And you'll see in next month's video what happens with that. Yeah. So, okay, that's the end of this video i hope you enjoy let me know your thoughts and feelings on boxy charm is it hitting is it missing this month's premium box was a huge hit in my opinion and next month what were the options i think next i don't remember i'm a little bit confused i think next month's premium options were options were mark jacobs products but I chose a fat facial and fat. Anyway, we'll get into that next month. I stay with premium because it gives me um, 
like early access to a bunch of things and you get more products. I'm happy with premium right now. We'll see if I go back to base next month. If my video is late next month, it's because I waited to get the base. Yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings on BoxyCharm. Are you subscribed? Did you cancel? Are you thinking of subscribing? If you are thinking of subscribing, I have a link down below, like my referral link for you to subscribe to BoxyCharm. So yeah, I don't make money. I just get like BoxyCharm money, like rewards. Anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button down below, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification if you're feeling the froggy. I post every Thursday and Sunday if you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter, and like all my socials down below. I like my Mercari down below if you're interested in any of the makeup I'm selling. I still have a Jeffree Star bundle up for sale. And yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.